All right, just want to do a video on imputed righteousness in a nutshell, just showing just basic scriptures, very easy scriptures demonstrating the imputed righteousness of the believer if you're born again. And it refutes the Pelagian heresy and a lot of this self-righteousness and the sinless perfectionist, you know, Roman Catholicism pretty much. Any, any self-righteous religion like Roman Catholicism or whatever else, it totally destroys it. So here are some quick scriptures on imputed righteousness. First of all, we have a righteous, we don't have our own righteousness, but rather the righteousness of God through faith. Philippians 3, 9. We are made unto righteousness by Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27 and 30. God imputes righteousness, righteousness to us when we believe on Christ. Romans chapter 4, verse 4 to 12, and Romans chapter 4, verse 20 to 25. We are made the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ, and God does not impute our trespasses to us. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 through 21. We attain, the righteous, we attain righteousness by faith in Christ. Romans chapter 9, verse 30 to 33. Christ is our righteousness when we believe. Romans chapter 10, verse 4 to 6. And we have the righteous, righteousness of God through faith in Christ. Romans chapter 3, verse 21 to 28. So just, just some basic scriptures demonstrating the imputed righteousness, how our righteousness is from Jesus Christ, not our own. So, you know, you have a false dichotomy if you have the self-righteous, lordship, salvation, Pelagian, you know, heres heretics, then you have the antinomians on the other side. It's a false dichotomy, okay? Imputed righteousness is simply Jesus Christ gives righteousness to you, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't live holy. Okay, and I'll be covering that in a future video. But just wanted to show you that. Uh, Imputed righteousness is a scriptural doctrine. It destroys any kind of self-righteousness from Roman Catholicism or anything else. So don't, don't be deceived by anyone who says otherwise. They're lying and they're a false teacher. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.